So, you don't wait to be slapped in the face. Neither do I. But wherever there's a good thing, there's a bad thing as well. Stay tuned to this channel. I want to speak about the end point for truck drivers. Injuries and what happens in the end. How does it end for truck drivers? Welcome to Simon Kawa channel. I'm down in the center of Geneva in uh, the Swiss capital city. Sightseeing, all nice architecture, Swiss architecture and Swiss, Swiss the land. Look at these boats, it's got that fountain in the center of it, and down at the lake. There's something I've noticed as well, the water is really clean. See through, nothing to do with the, the green stuff that you get at River Thames. Yes, in a little comparison. So make sure to tap the subscribe button to get more videos, to support this channel. Thumbs up as well, be nice sightseeing while we get these good points while we get these good points to get straight into it injuries that happen the most common injuries for truck drivers is knee injury if you're a truck driver or trying to be one it's something you want to look out for let's check out this place while you go in and out the handles, the egress, those are things that you have to learn. When I was younger, I'd just skip into a lorry, jump into a lorry, jump out of the lorry. I don't want to know. But as the hours kept going, I had to mind how I'm getting in and out of the lorry. Okay? Because the, the, the most common thing is while you're getting in and out, yeah, you knock your bang, your noise in. If you do that many times, you won't be left with any any knees to hook hook you up and on, on the walking and the pushing and the lifting. So the main thing to look out for is your knees. If you bang things in on your knees many times, that's the end of your trucking career. The next thing to look for out for is your back. You get me? Your back. How Wait. souvenirs? <laughs> He just sold me some bit of souvenirs. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next thing to look out for is your back. When you're joining trucking jobs, they always train you how to move things around. Pay attention. You know, squat rather than bend to pull. Use your, what do they call them? Your thighs. The strongest muscles in your, in your body is the, the legs, the thighs. Yeah? The thighs and the legs, even when you're in the gym, those are things never to forget. Legs, thighs, you want them to be strong, you want to use them when you're uh, doing things around the lorries. That's what I'm talking about, look at the water. Clean. I last saw that in Lake Victoria, in Entebbe, Uganda. VV. They also got, you know, something like the London Eye, the one rotating. It looks like a fun city. So, the, the third one to look out for is the mind, the head. If you lose your head, you're gone. The head is the main important thing of the body, in it? So your mind, truck driving is a lonely job. It's the hardest thing about trucking, we've spoken about that before in my, tra in my channel. Look out for that uh, video. So, if you can't handle being alone, there are so many tricks. Keep on the phone, keep your links, have books, have material, have things to do. Create and beware of it. If you get in there and you don't know what is at risk, your mind, yeah? Your mind and the stress. Relationships are difficult as a truck driver. You're doing journeys, keeping away from your family. Don't help relationships. So the mind is at risk. The mind, you watch out for it. If you lose your mind because you're a trucker, I don't know how long you can keep up with the trucking thing. The mind. 
other thing to look out for the fourth and final thing that i've put here is the unfitness the bad diet and fitness pressure stroke things like that i once was with a company actually when i was in the bread company Robertons, some guy in his 40s got a stroke and the next week the next couple of months he came in with his face half fallen he thought it was a funny thing to have a pot belly very sharp pot belly that everyone used to joke about we used to actually touch it joking about things but that same man got a stroke so the unfitness that comes with the tracking this is my fourth and final point just to recap you have the back you have the knee you have the mind and then you have the diseases that are associated with it them them things because of unfitness and bad food you have to persist make your own food go with your sandwiches you don't have to stop on long tracking places and eat burgers and, and pizzas and fast food only no come with your food prepare yourself you will avoid a lot of trouble make sure to sub to this channel lovely channel from a african man always in london works in london giving insights of our tracking game giving you knowledge dropping knowledge and giving you all positive things and this obviously is something to watch out for not everything is always nice not everything is sweet okay I ain't going to go on and on I wanna say stay safe god bless love